15.5 percent of 850 plus 24.8 percent of 650. So you can approximately take it as 15 percent, approximately take this as 25 percent. So find out 15 percent of 850, 15 percent of 850 is how much? 85 plus 42.5, right? See again 15 is not 15, 15 is 10 plus 5. So 10 percent is 85, 5 percent is 42.5 plus 25 percent of 650. How much is 25 percent of 650? See again split it here, right? Instead of splitting the percentage value, split the number. I can take 650 as 600 plus 50. So 25% of 600, 150 plus 25% of 50, 12.5. See, all this has to happen in, in, in your head, right? I mean, don't think that you have to write so many steps or so many numbers on paper. I'm just trying to put on paper what goes through my mind when I'm solving this, right? So in one case, we have split the percentage. In the, in the other case, we have split the number based on whatever is convenient to you, right? Now add all these things. So 42.5 plus 12.5 is 55, right? 55 plus 85 is 140. 140 plus 150 is 290. 290 is there? 295. So I, I would go for 295, option A, right? So option A is the answer. These methods are not applicable. Rudish method is not applicable. If 45 minus of 28 minus of 37 minus of 15 minus x is equal to 58, then what is the value of x? I mean, one way is to substitute the options one after the other and check which one satisfies, otherwise directly solve. That's not a complex equation at all, right? So if I take 45 on the other side, what happens? This becomes 58 minus 45, 13. Or let me cancel the minus sign, it becomes minus 13. Then if I take 28 on the other side, so minus 13 minus 28, it becomes minus 41 the two minus signs get cancelled, right? So I'll get 37 minus of 15 minus x equals to 41. Then if you take 37 on the other side, what happens? It becomes minus 37. 41 minus 37 is my, uh, 4. So this becomes 4. So basically minus of 15 minus x equals to 4. If I take the negative sign on the other side, it becomes minus 4. So 15 minus x equals to minus 4. Are able to follow? 15 minus x equals to minus 4. So what will be x from this one? 15 plus 4, which is 19. Option C. How about the next one? Interesting question. 64.5% of 800 plus 36.4% of 1500 equals to question mark square plus 38. Well, it's not difficult to find out 64.5% of 800. I mean, if you have practiced well on your calculations, you will be able to do this in a few seconds, right? I mean, you have to just break it up. 64.5 percent is not 64.5 percent. It is 50 percent plus 10 percent plus 4 percent plus half percent. So 50 percent is 400, 10 percent is 80, 4 percent is uh, 32, and half percent is 4. Similarly, 36.4 percent of 1500. So that's like 30 percent plus 6 percent plus 0.4 percent. Or maybe you'll do uh, it the other way, like right? instead of taking 36.4% of 1500, you can take it as 15% of, you know, 3640. Both the ways it can be done, right? 15% of 3640. So that will be like, uh, uh, you know, 15% uh, of 3640 will be 364 plus 182. So that's like 546, 546. You'll get 546. Are you able to follow? Smart. Again, these are all smart methods. Instead of taking it as 36.4% of 1500, you can take it as 15% of 3640. Remember, we have discussed this in our percentages videos. A percent of B, A percent of B equals to B percent of A. And I am not saying that this is a method that everybody should follow. If it is convenient to you, follow it. I mean, I felt finding out 36.4% of 15 is complex when compared to finding out 15% of 36.4. So, I have reversed it. But again, 36.4 into 100 will give you 3640. Now, what is 15% of 3640? 10% plus 5%. So, 364 plus 182. That comes out to be 540 plus 6, 546. So, this is what is there on the left hand side, which is equal to what squared plus 38, right? Now, try to solve. <coughs> See, 32 plus 4 is 36. 36, if you subtract from this one, we'll get, you know, 2 here. 2 will be left out. 
सो फाइव फोर्टी सिक्स प्लस फोर हंड्रेड नाइन फोर्टी सिक्स नाइन फोर्टी सिक्स प्लस एटी इज थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्लस टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी एट इज इक्वल टू क्वेश्चन मार्क स्क्वायर एंड फ्रॉम दिस यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट क्वेश्चन मार्क विच कैन बी डन यू नो not a very complex procedure and anyway when you look at the options at this step you know that 110 120 140 160 all are out of range so you can mark option 5 none of this is the answer right <coughs> but then 1024 somebody says yeah maybe let me just check yeah this minus 2 sorry this is not plus 2 this is minus 2 i'm sorry this become 1024 and 1024 you know is 32 squared right so we can say question mark is equals to 32 but this is a waste of time although we are using a smart step here what is that smart step we are not finding out i mean you can actually instead of finding out uh, what is the square root we can just look at the options and verify right i mean 110 square will be much more than 1024 and if 110 square itself is eliminated 120 140 160 all gets eliminated Similarly, we have used smart ways of doing these calculations. Like instead of taking thirty six point four percent of fifteen hundred, we have taken fifteen percent of three six four zero. Instead of taking sixty four point five percent of eight hundred, we have taken as fifty percent plus ten percent plus four percent plus point five percent. But even after doing all these smart, uh, I mean, even after applying all these smart ways here, I would still say that this is a waste of time. The simple reason here is, if you observe, the question is sixty four point five percent of eight hundred plus Thirty-six point four percent of fifteen hundred plus, uh, which is equal to question mark square plus thirty-eight. What will a smart student do? He will look at the range. If you look at the range, sixty-four point five percent of eight hundred will be less than eight hundred. This is less than eight hundred. Thirty-six point four percent of fifteen hundred will be less than less than seven hundred. I mean, this is like less than fifty percent, right? So less than seven hundred, or let's say less than fifteen hundred. I mean, even if you want to take it as fifteen hundred, let's say less than fifteen hundred. Less than eight hundred plus less than fifteen hundred overall will be less than two thousand three hundred. So if your left hand side is around two thousand three hundred, it will be much lesser than two thousand three hundred. But even if you take it as two thousand three hundred, none of these options would satisfy. Why? The moment you put one ten square, see one ten should come in place of question mark. What is one ten square? It will be twelve thousand one hundred. Your right hand side is twelve thousand one hundred plus thirty eight. Completely imbalanced, right? Left hand side is less than two thousand three hundred. Right hand side is coming out to be in the range of tens of thousands, right? Twelve thousand one thirty eight. So clearly, option A gets eliminated. And the moment option A is eliminated, B, C, D also gets eliminated because if one ten itself is giving us an imbalanced equation, one twenty, one forty, one sixty will make it even more imbalanced. So your answer has to be option five. None of these. so that's smart and that in my view will not take more than a couple of seconds i mean the moment you throw a look at this question you should realize and that is why i always say whenever you are solving questions from simplifications look at the options first most of us fail to do that we just look at the question and start solving it maybe you are using a smart method like what we have done here in the earlier case but it is of no use because if you throw a look at the options and you know gauge the range there you will know that all the first four options are wrong and the moment the first four options are wrong Option five, none of this would be correct. Six squared plus seven squared plus eight squared plus nine squared plus ten squared upon root over seven plus four root three minus root over four plus two root three. Now I think what we need to do here is simplify the denominator first, right? Unless we do that, it it is uh, not going to be easy to crack this, right? So try and simplify this. Seven plus four root three. Right? How can you uh, write this? I mean, basically, we'll try to write seven plus four root three in terms of A plus B whole square or A plus root B whole square, so that this whole square and under root gets cancelled, right? So first of all, we will take it as seven plus, you know, two root twelve because, you know, when you take two inside, it becomes four, right? Two square, so four into three is twelve. Two root twelve. And now, if you see, it can be taken as root over. See, I can split seven as four plus three. and we can split 12 as 4 into 3 you know what we are trying to do right we are trying to get this in the form of a square plus b square plus 2ab so 4 can be taken as root 4 whole square plus 3 can be taken as root 3 whole square plus 2 root 12 can be taken as 2 into root 4 into root 3 so if you see this is like a square plus b square plus 2ab now what is a square plus b square plus 2ab a plus b whole square so if you rewrite this in the right format we'll get root 4 plus root 3 whole square So what happens is under root and square gets cancelled, and finally we are left with root four plus 
root 3. Root 4 is nothing but 2. So this is 2 plus root 3. So basically under root 7 plus 4 root 3 has become 2 plus root 3. Similarly, if you try to you know work on the other third there, 4 plus 2 root 3. 4 plus 2 root 3. This is like 3 plus 1. This is 3 into 1. Right? So, need not write all the steps now. We can directly take it as root 3 plus 1, the whole square, under root. So, this gets cancelled. We are left with root 3 plus 1. Now, substitute this 2 plus root 3 and root 3 plus 1 in the denominators there. Right? So, what do we get? We will get 6 squared, which is 36, 4, 7 squared, 49, 64, 81 and 100, whole divided by this 2 plus root 3 minus of root 3 plus 1. So, plus root 3 minus root 3 gets cancelled and 2 minus of 1 becomes 1. So, denominator is equal to 1 basically, right? Denominator is all equal to 1. Simplify the numerator. So, 36 and 64 is 100, 100 plus 100 is 200, 281, 290 and 330, right? So, answer is going to be 330. Option 2. 11,992 minus 7,823 minus 456 equals to what? By unit digit method, I am getting 5713, but the answer is 3713. Please help me. Well, Nazir, <coughs> first of all, you need to understand that when you have used unit digit method, you have to tell us the options also because unit digit method can be used only when options are given. You have not given us the options here. And by unit digit method, the only thing that we will get to know, see 11,992 minus 7,823 minus 456 equals to what? According to unit digit method, 2 minus 3 is minus 1, minus 1 minus 6 is minus 7. So, 10 minus 3. Unit digit method will only tell us that the answer will end with 3. You are getting it? Like for example, we will borrow 1 from 9 let us say. So, this is 12. 12 minus 3, 9. 9 minus 6, 3. So, unit digit method will only tell you that the answer is ending in 3. How have you decided that unit digit method is giving you 5713? Where do you get 571 from? Look at the method name. No? Method's name is unit digit method, unit digit method, right? So, only unit digit can be obtained, which is 3. You are saying according to unit digit method, I have got 5713, but the answer is given as 3713. No. According to unit digit method, you know that the answer will end with 3. Now, if there was only one option ending with 3 and you have marked 5713 as the answer, then it is your fault. You have to be careful. Unit digit method is applicable only when all the options are ending with different unit spaces. And why is so much of struggle for such a simple question here? 12 minus 3 is 6, 12 minus 3 is 9, 9 minus 6 is 3, then 8 minus 2, 6, 6 minus 5, 1, 9 minus 8, 1, okay, not possible, so let's let's borrow 1 from here, 19, 19 minus 8, 11, 11 minus 4 is 7, and finally 10, this is 10, right, you're able to follow, we had borrowed 1 from 11, so it becomes 10, right, so, sorry about this. This was 11, we had borrowed 1 uh, from 11, right? You are getting it? My pen is not working properly, sorry. So, we have borrowed 11, uh, 1 from, so finally what, are we, what do we have now? 10 minus 7, uh, 10 minus 7, 3. So, 3713 is the answer, correct only, you know, what is the problem?